So I need to mate this. So we're going to follow the best practices here. Since that thickness was 0.5, we're going to make this cut depth a little bit bigger than 0.5. We're going to make it 0.6. So we have a 50 thousandths clearance on each side, which is way too big for real life, but it's good. It'll be good to demonstrate this point. There's this other type of mate that I want to use. And this mate is called in the advanced tab. It's called width. So width, it, I don't know how to explain it besides just showing you what it does. So this one and this one are going to be equidistant from this one and this one. And then let's go to a side view here and I'll show you what, it, what, what that just did. So this guy has clearance on both sides with that width mate. And then I want this one and this one to be concentric and not locked, right? So let's imagine this rod end is attached to a steering system or something, but it's all wonky. It's moving all over the place. How do we fix that? We're going to use a plane mate. So this is something that's super valuable in my suspension assemblies is I will mate components plane on plane in the upper assembly. So this component in the design tree, we're going to select the front plane, and then we're going to control select the front plane of the upper assembly, and we're going to set those to parallel, right? So now this thing moves in and out, but it always stays parallel with the other plane. And that's a great way to make sure stuff doesn't break.